Hello and welcome to this edition of Exotic Ghana UK, Yorkshire Chris Weekly. And in this week's episode, we'll be germinating onset banana seeds using boiling water, fruit juice and cinnamon powder. So here I have two little packets of onset banana seeds and we have got the species onset ventricosum and we've also got onset glaucum which is also known as a snow banana and both of these can be grown from seed to have a decent sized plant in its first year they are tender perennials so if you want to keep them for the following year where they'll get much bigger you need to keep them in a heated area so in a conservatory or heated greenhouse over winter ideally over 10 degrees and these seeds do germinate quite erratically but there is a better way than just sowing them in water sorry soaking them in water and then putting them into some compost to get them to germinate a bit more regularly and that is using orange juice cinnamon powder and boiling water so in this episode we're going to germinate these seeds so here are the seeds of the onset bananas as you can see they are rather large big round seeds and they're extremely hard and we're going to put some boiling water over these i've just got two little pots here one for the ventricosum one for the glaucum and i've already sterilized these i put boiling water into these and cleaned them out already a bit of recycling and then the boiling water will just cover these for about 35 45 seconds and that will produce little micro fractures in the seed case of the seeds which will help water penetrate and then help with germination so the kettle is just boiled i'm just going to pour the boiling water over the seeds and cover them And now, by the time I get to the sink to take out this boiling water, it'll be 35, 40 seconds will have passed. And that's enough time to do the micro factors in the seeds without actually boiling the seeds and destroying them. So I've drained the water, the boiling water, off the banana seeds. And whilst the hot water was in there, loads of little air bubbles were coming out. And that shows all the air was coming out of the seeds, which is great, which means there's a bit able for water to get in there or juice to get in there to help with the germination process. So I've just been warming up my fruit juice. Orange juice is a, probably the best to use but I've run out of that so I've got some mango juice which is okay as well. You want something just slightly acidic and like I said I pre-warmed this. I'm just going to pour that in over my seeds like so. And then what I'm going to do is put these somewhere nice and warm. So just behind me, I have got a heat mat here, quite a cheap one, basic heat mat, and it's above a radiator. And it's at 27 degrees at the moment, so nice and warm. So I'm just going to place the seeds on that heat mat. And keep them labelled as well so we know which is which. And that will stay there for a couple of days. I will change the fruit juice if it starts smelling quite strongly. So I'll change that probably a couple of times over the next couple of days. And then we'll move on to the next stage of the propagation process. So we're back now looking at the seeds. I have moved them to a different room now to film this video. I have rinsed off all the fruit juice we've cooled boiled water from a kettle try to keep it sterile as possible and I've also laid out here my onset seeds with my moussa seeds that so far I have done exactly the same method for both types of banana seeds they've been on the heat pad for two and a half days all the time until about five minutes ago when I like I said just moved into this room I have also got some food bags put the date on and the type of seed that's going to go in the bags in a minute because we're going to be using the baggy method to germinate these seeds which means you're going to use a bit of mixture of either compost or, or moss or perlite or whatever you choose to use 
in your bag with the seeds and then it'll be put on the propagator and that'll keep it nice and warm. So just going to rinse off the water from these seeds and then we're going to get our cinnamon powder, ideally use fresh but I've run out of fresh cinnamon sticks. So I've got the ground up version here and we're going to dust all the seeds in this before we put them in the bags. So now you can see I've dusted all the seeds in cinnamon powder and I use cinnamon powder basically to act as a bit of a fungicide, it prevents the seeds rotting or helps the seeds not to rot. You can remember banana seeds can take quite a long time to germinate so it's good to sort of try to prevent rot as much as possible and some people believe it also speeds up germination but I'm yet to be persuaded by that argument. So I've done that for all the seeds, dusted them gently. And then here we have some compost. I'm using a mixture of peat-free compost, grit and sand as well. Just something nice and free draining. It doesn't really matter really as long as it holds some moisture because it's going to be used in the baggy method. And this has been in the microwave for 5-10 minutes so it sterilizes the compost. So again it's just trying to reduce the risk of any rot setting in or fungi attacking the seeds and then I'm just going to put, obviously you're going to wait for it to cool down so this was put in the microwave a few hours ago it's cooled down now I'm going to put a bit of this mixture in each of the bags and then put the seeds in the correct bags and for the onset seeds they need to be kept really warm constant temperatures so they're going to be kept in the propagator and yeah, you really want 25 to 35 degrees my propagator at this time of year in winter struggles to get above 25 degrees but because they're in little bags and they'll be on the base of the propagator they should be warm enough. Obviously if you're doing this in spring, summer or autumn, propagators will easily get up to 25 to 35 degrees. Now the mousse seeds are a little bit different, they like uh, varying temperatures. So they will be left in the house above a radiator where it's warm in the day and then cool at night in winter so you get that fluctuation of temperatures and that should help initiate germination. So I'm just going to do that now and show you what it looks like with the seeds in the bag. So the seeds are in the bags and as you can see there's a little bit of condensation already forming because I did put some water in the compost before it went in the microwave so there's enough moisture in there to germinate the seeds and they're going to be placed like I said the onset in the heated propagator and the mousse will be put on the windowsill above a radiator where we get a range of temperatures down to about 14 to 15 at night and up to about 23 24 in the daytime at this time of year and in a minute i'll show you the seeds that have germinated so it's quite a few weeks later now and the bananas have germinated so this is the onset ventricosum and we can see two have germinated in here and I should have brought these out much much earlier these actually germinated after two weeks which is amazingly fast really for these and these now I'm gonna pot up in their own little pots and they'll be ready to plant out later in the spring come summer so we've got a nice potting mixture here of just multi-purpose potting compost mixed with perlite and it's roughly about 5% perlite, 6% compost and then we've mixed that really well together we've pulled the seedlings out of the plastic bag and we'll just pot them up into individual small pots at this stage so these are about 10 centimetre pots we will just press them down and then these will go onto the heated bed just to give it a bit of bottom warmth just to get the roots established and then it won't be long before we feed in and potting these up into bigger pots because they grow so fast, especially now we're getting into spring. So that is how to germinate onset bananas using fruit juice, boiling water, cinnamon powder and a few weeks in a plastic bag. Thanks for watching this epi episode of Exotic Gardening. You watch Chris Weekly. Join me next time, we'll be doing more in the garden.